everybody and welcome to Steel City Classics. I'm here with Grant and Grant's been kind enough to uh, bring his nice GT750 uh, kettle as we call them. This is uh, one of those bastardised ones oh, uh, and there's been quite a lot of work that actually Grant has done himself and we've been chatting to him this morning. Very interesting guy, very interesting stories about the bike. And Grant, just tell us, just tell us a little bit about the front and I'm just, the reason why I asked that question, I noticed that uh, the front end was sort of Katana Suzuki, so you've actually done quite a lot to this bike. Yeah, so the, the running gear is uh, from a 2001 GSXF 600 Katana, what used to be called the old teapot. Yes. The reason I did it is I, I wanted some better tyres and brakes and suspension. So the guys down at uh, Metmatex at Alfreton, uh, they did me some nice uh, billet yokes so that it maintained the same ride height and they modified the swinging arm for me, got rid of the monoshock and uh, built it to the same measurements as the kettle so that I could twin shock it. So it, it's kept the same overall look of the kettle but obviously you've got, I've got modern 17 inch tyres. Yes. Twice as many brakes on the front and I've got a disc on the rear. I noticed that when, when, cause when you go back in history we talk about the kettle, one of the things that you used to get is if you put the brake on, nothing would happen and all of a sudden it would stop you. Yeah, and you get that sort of shock of am I going over the handlebars or am I panicking and yeah. I don't want to laugh. Well, I had exactly that on, on this. I was following my mate up near Garford. <laughs> he went over the brow of the hill in the sun. I lost him, grabbed all the front brake, like he said, nothing, nothing, nothing. And it locked up and then the front skidded and I banged my foot on the floor. I actually broke my foot. Oh, what? And I managed to save it so I didn't have a crash. Yeah. But after that, I didn't want to ride it. Yeah. But, but I loved it that much. And then when I saw these modifications coming on, with the full gypsy gear in, uh, I started looking on forums and somebody had said, oh, put banded gear in or something like that. Well, so, I have to say, you've done an absolutely yeah. fantastic job. And from a pay point of view, have you done that yourself? Have you had that done? Yeah, I've had that done. So, um, guy down in um, Derby did that for me. It's a wonderful job, yeah, that, isn't it? Yeah. And you keep it meticulous and it sounds a real, real bit of kick. Um, very, very impressed. And I'm surprised we, we, we had a, a classic day where we were uh, pe asking people to come and show the bikes. Yeah. It's a pity that this uh, weren't there because yeah. there were some uh, trophies to be won and this would have been amongst the, uh, the front runners for sure. Well I did intend to come down but unfortunately oh. me and the wife were away that weekend otherwise yeah, I would have popped down. So. Well you do realise that uh, if you ever come to get bored with this bike and think you want to sell it, we are very good buyers of yeah. lovely bikes and it's a testament that you've done a fantastic job. Yeah. You're telling me that uh, you, you're actually your son is now getting a GT 550. GT 550. The, yeah, we've got it's an import. I've just rebuilt the motor with top, uh, and then he's having that as a ride and restore though. So it looks a bit. It's got patina, shall we say? So, so you've got. So you've got the, the confidence in what you've done. We were just talking earlier about the fact that you've had quite a lot of the engine work done. You ended up taking it somewhere else, not being totally happy, and you ended up doing it yourself again. Yeah, I, and now I you're had the, working right. Yeah, I had the engine built by somebody else, and after 600 miles, the crank seal went. So I decided I would build it myself, and I have done. Uh, and it's running fine now. It's actually smoother than it was before. So yeah, really pleased with it. And then from that, we've built Tom's uh, five foot as well. Great to meet you mate, and thank you for bringing your bike down and showing us and it's a real pleasure to see the hard work and dedication that you've put into it because it looks stunning. Make sure you come down and see us at Steel City Classics, if you've got something like Grant's bike, make sure that you bring it down and let's have a chat about your bike. Great to see you again, all the best.